CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Windows 10 Control Panel Utility. Programs and Features In this video segment, it is time to explore the Control Panel's Programs and Features Utility. In Windows, this is where you go when you want to manage all the software installed on your computer. Whether you need to uninstall a program, make changes to existing software, or repair an application, Programs and Features has you covered. When you open Programs and Features, you'll see a straightforward interface that lists all the programs installed on your computer. The main pane displays each program's name, along with additional details like the publisher, installation date, size, and version number. This information helps you quickly identify which programs are installed and how much space they occupy. From here, you can perform several actions to keep your system running smoothly. First up, there's uninstall. If you have software that you no longer need or that's causing issues, you can select it from the list and click Uninstall. This will remove the program from your computer, freeing up space and potentially resolving conflicts with other software. Next is Change. Some programs offer the option to change or modify the installation. This could include adding or removing specific features within the software. For instance, if you have a Microsoft Office suite installed, you might choose to add a component like Excel if it wasn't installed initially. Then there's Repair. If a program is not working correctly, selecting Repair can fix missing or corrupted files. This option is especially useful for troubleshooting without completely uninstalling and reinstalling the software. Now, let's talk about the link located in the top left of the window pane, labeled, Turn Windows Features On or Off. Clicking this link opens a new dialog box with a list of optional Windows features that you can enable or disable. Imagine you need to run a legacy application that requires an older version of .NET Framework. Instead of downloading and installing it manually, you can check the box next to the .NET Framework version you need and Windows will take care of the rest. Or, if you want to save resources, you might disable features like Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player if you don't use them. Whether you need to uninstall, change, or repair a program, or enable and disable Windows features, this tool provides the functionality you need to keep your system running smoothly. So, next time you have a problematic program, head on over to Programs and Features and take control of your software environment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.